the Bargain family, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna take you with me to Burlington Co. Factory. So this is kind of like a shop with me and a haul. I'll do the haul at the end. If you're not familiar with Burlington Co. Factory, it's a discount store. They sell like name brand items at a lower discount. So it's very similar to like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Actually, I would compare it more to Ross because the brands that are at Ross and Burlington are very similar to each other and then TJ Maxx and Marshalls very similar to each other. Doesn't TJ Maxx own Marshalls? or Marshall's own seat, I don't know. So I went to Burlington because I just wanted to check out the home decor items to see what they have. Burlington has such great prices on their home decor. Goodbye, Penny, I love you too. Their prices are so good on home decor. I would say they're better than Marshall's and TJ Maxx. Even though Marshall's and TJ Maxx, the prices are really, really good, but Burlington, in my opinion, is always a little bit less expensive. Without further ado, let's head into Burlington and I'll do my haul after. Burlington Co. Factory, they're more than gray coats. Anybody else remember that jingle? Anyways, so like I said, there's a huge selection of home decor. So I don't really know how we're going to do this voiceover. We're just going to go with the flow. Um, I'm going to start off with these goblets. There's so many different ones, and I think they're called goblets. Don't quote me on that. But you can see they're very reasonably priced. There's this pretty rose gold one with some gold accents, and it's only $6.99. Sorry, I'm just slurring my words right now. I'm trying to roll with the punches and kind of, uh, like try to keep up with what I'm showing in the moment. There's this one right here that's priceless. Eh, okay, wait, what's going on? It's a uh, $16.99, which is really good. If you've seen that at its full price at another store, you know how much those normally cost. In different sizes, they get cheaper, like the smaller they are. So this one's smaller than the other two I showed you, and it's only $5.99. I think things like this are really pretty for centerpieces when it comes to weddings. This one is just a little vase rounded out, was $5.99. This really cool spiky one is $12.99. I think I'm mainly going to just tell you the prices on items I'm showing because I feel like that's more interesting than just seeing the items because you want to know how much it is. Am I right or am I right? The Burlington I went into was very organized in terms of colors and themes. So there was like a silver area and then there was like a gold area. You can see this little mirror piece is only $3.99, which is really inexpensive. And then there was that really pretty glass vase in the back of it that was only $9.99. I think the prices on their vases are excellent like this pretty white one it's only $6.99 and then the smaller version of it was $3.99 they have lots of globes and they're normally priced at $7.99 there and I ran into lots of pretty blue and teal type of decor all of those vases are the same prices they're normally ranging from $5.99 to $9.99 and then the really big ones are $12.99 I saw this really pretty vase I had to see the price right away it was $14.99 They've got really random decor thrown into the mix that's very much so like a novelty. You have to have a unique style. I saw this fire hydrant. I thought it was so cute. It was $12.99. Part of me wanted to buy it just because of how cute it was. And then they have like so many different type of like sculptures and figurines. Normal price I kept seeing was like around $12.99. Mm -hmm. I really liked that police car. It was only $9.99. Those little like flower vase looking things it almost looks like a purse the one that was on the left there's this random um elephant that kind of reminded me of the little elephant on the dollar tree ring holder it was $7.99 lots of pineapple sculptures which i know pineapples are in then i saw this really pretty vase that was only priced at $9.99 i don't know what type of style that is i really like these pillars these ones were $12.99 tell me they are not gorgeous i like love the style of that and then here we go on to more figurines and vases. Here's a pillar that's $5.99 and they're really good quality. These small little vases that had handles on them, they were only $5.99. I think that's really great price, especially for how pretty they were and the quality of them. There was this really pretty rustic looking tray that was only $14.99. Like sometimes I get tempted to just buy a bunch of random pieces because they're just so pretty. Then I landed in this like sea beach decor section and then I ran into these vases that are so pretty so there was a little light inside of there and it made this pretty design inside of there and it was actually just fairy lights but because of the glass looking like sea glass 
it did that and it was only 10.99 on clearance there was this really pretty blue and green vase that was on clearance for 19.99 you really want to look for those red tags you can find some really great deals with the red tags i ran into this lantern that was only 12 dollars, and i really wanted to get it but i wanted another one with it so i just passed on it then their clocks are such a good price the style of decor i saw a lot of there was beach decor and like farmhouse decor this beach sign was only $5.99 they have lots of beach wreaths as well and then their flower section I wouldn't say that it's the best price. I feel like you could get the same like type of items and at the same price at TJ Maxx, Marshalls. So I wouldn't necessarily rave about Burlington in that department unless you can find them on clearance. I'm not saying it's expensive. I'm just saying that it's not that much better prices than other stores that are like Burlington. The other items that they carry that are very similar to other stores are the little potpourri. Um, I don't know what they're necessarily called. They could be infusers, potpourri type of containers. I'm not even positive, sorry about that, you guys. But they're the same price as what you would pay at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Most of them were $3.99, and they're very pretty, and they smell great. When I turned the corner from that aisle, I ran into more vases. The one that caught my eye the most was this pink and gold one. I thought this one was really nice and all the vases are a good size that one was only $14.99 I could totally see it with some of the room decor that I have but I didn't purchase it because I already have a bunch of vases from all these vases the most expensive one I could find was $35 they also have lots of pretty picture frames the frames are very similar to the same type of brands you're gonna find at Marshall's TJ Maxx and so on this frame was $2.99 Honestly, wasn't my favorite, but I really, really like this mint one from the Net Lapore. I think that's the name. It was $6.99. Now, moving on to their home decor. They have so many sunburst mirrors. Like, these ones are so pretty, and that pack is only $12.99. This one right here was $14.99, and at the bottom, $12.99 again. This little mirror was $12.99. It came in a three pack. Lots of the mirrors come in packs, unless it's just a big square one. They have so many wall art images. These shadow boxes with images inside of them were $7.99. I really, really liked this little camel right here. Or is it a llama? Don't know if it's a camel with its humps covered up or if it's a llama, but what I do know is it's an animal. Yay, Bethany, you're smart, huh? Anyways, moving on. I really like this home key holder. It was only $5.99. I was tempted to get that one. And then I saw this image down there that said, gather here with grateful hearts. This one was priced at, we'll see, once I like get my act together, $7.99. And then that family sign that's below, which was pretty big, was only $14.99. If you're in the market for farmhouse decor, I suggest Burlington, especially if you're trying to get images for your wall because they have them such a reasonable price and then big. Like this man cave wrench, oh my gosh, I loved it so much. I didn't need it, but I loved it. And you should check out the clearance section because I was able to find this man cave one that was only $7.99. There was nothing wrong with it at all. So, you know, some Burlingtons, they might have something on sale at one and not at the other just because of the area, just if, like they sell it or not. I saw these framed mirrors. Oh my gosh, they were so pretty. These ones were $16.99. These were actually the prettiest out of all the ones I had seen beforehand. These ones were $16.99 as well. Then I ran into some wood slices, and I love wood slices because I'm a nut job. Those wood slices were actually cutting boards, and they're $9.99. I found this little cute cupcake stand that was only $12.99. I loved that piece so much. And when I turned the corner, I ran into this clock, and it was on clearance for $3.99. Had to pick it up. Like I said, you want to keep your eyes open for the red tags, the clearance items. Like these picture frames, the smaller one is $3.99 and then the bigger ones were $6.99 and they had them in so many different colors. There's this really pretty Hello Gorgeous mirrored frame that was $14.99 and it was a big size. Burlington does carry furniture. It's a very limited supply of them. I wouldn't say that their furniture is the best priced items. Like this little like shelf it was very nice but it was hundred and forty nine dollars so I don't necessarily think like that's the biggest deal I'm ever gonna run into they have these Ottomans that are really nice this one right here was hundred and thirty dollars and then there was one that was on clearance for fifty dollars so I mean it's not terrible prices but I 
feel like you can go somewhere else and possibly find a better price except that $50 one was a nice price they have lots of pillows at Burlington great prices on the pillows most of them come in two packs and they average between $12.99 and $16.99 that's the regular average sometimes they could be a little bit more maybe a little bit less but those are the prices I normally run into when it comes to the pillows another item that they carry at Burlington that is a great price are their throws they have them in so many different colors and textures and their throws are such a great price compared to home goods now home goods their throws are still inexpensive but they have throws that home goods carries for like a couple of bucks less and sometimes even five dollars less like the Nanette Lepore ones and then the Mario Lopez ones actually I don't even think it's called Mario Lopez I always call it Mario Lopez but it, it's not I don't even remember the brand but you're gonna see it in about two seconds from now Every time I see that brand, I read it as Mario Lopez, and I don't know why. It's Marlo Lorenz, not Mario Lopez, but you can't blame a girl. That's all I looked at when it came to the home decor. The final thing I did was actually go to the men's section, the young men's section, because they have the best graphic t-shirts for such an inexpensive price. So I always get a small. I'm telling you, guys' t-shirts are way better than girls when it comes to graphic t-shirts. It's always like Minnie Mouse and Coca-Cola and MTV for girls. So as you can see, they've got some really, really great deals there, especially in my opinion on the goblets. I think that's what they're called. I don't, I don't necessarily know what they're called, but it's those like things when a penny is trying to dig through hardwood floor, but it's those things that have like the bowl looking thing on top of it, which I think are perfect for like weddings and centerpieces like that. Like they're inexpensive. You can put flowers inside of them, fairy lights, penny still trying to dig through hardwood floor. They had so many at such good price points. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up and what I picked up is going to be very, very random. It's not going to necessarily be like the craziest of things, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. So the first item I wanted to share with you guys that I got when I saw them I saw two of them I had to buy them it was like no I'm getting these things because I'm gonna need them real soon these are um, $12.99 and they're just like cupcake stands wooden cupcake stands it's real wood and I could tell because one of them was chipped a little bit and I don't know if you guys have ever tried to buy wood slices that are just like this very nicely smoothed out and polished they're really expensive like one piece like this like this alone would probably cost you $15 you can probably find them online on Craigslist and offer up but lots of times they're not like as nicely sand down like this unless you're buying it from somebody who bought it for their wedding and they're trying to get rid of it so I did pick up the two that I found I cannot wait to use this. I really cannot wait to use these and then also I thought like if I ever want to use just one piece of wood for say like a decoration I can always take the screw out and do that so $12.99 I thought it was a great deal so I picked up the two that I saw okay there so I picked up this piece because I plan on using it real real soon this little it looks like a cabinet door and it says today is a good day for a good day this was on sale so like I said you when you go to Burlington you do want to look for those red tag items because lots of times they're not even damaged products it's just products they couldn't get rid of so this one is only $5.99 it was originally $16.99 the next item I got is this plant there's a little bit of a chip on the side of this so this was on sale for three ninety nine it's originally priced at seven ninety nine I don't have many um, type of plants like this fake plants that are actually inside of a pot so I did pick up one because I need it for some decor so I went ahead got this like I said look for those red tag items because you do end up saving a lot and lots of times even when they're damaged it's not terribly damaged they do have like some items that are badly damaged like I saw like a like a glass horse and it was missing a leg I don't know who would even want to buy that after it's missing the leg. Of course, like any store, they do have items that are totally shot to hell, but there's a lot of their clearance items that aren't. Another red ticket item I got was this clock. This one was $3.99. Now, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the clock, so I don't know why it was that price. Maybe the clock itself doesn't work, but for me, this is mainly just supposed to be for decoration. But I don't think that's why it was on sale. I think it was just maybe they couldn't sell it. Just because you have to put batteries inside of this thing, so I highly doubt one of the employees took the time to put some batteries in to see if it actually worked. So yeah, I picked up this for $3.99. I was so happy to find it because clocks like these, they don't sell them for $3.99. They really don't. Now let's get into more random things that's not necessarily home decor. I mean, technically this could be. I got this throw from, I don't, Nanette Lepore, I think that's how you say it. It's a shaggy throw, 50 inches by 
60 inches and it was only $14.99. I have bought throws like this in white from the same brand at Home Goods, and it was $19.99. I think one time I got one for $16.99. So if you don't know this, I don't have white carpeting. If you watch my videos, I know sometimes people think I got like marble flooring or white carpeting. I don't have that. I have hardwood floors. But what I do in my videos is I will use throws to kind of just get the aesthetic for the video that I want. I wish I had you know actual carpeting that was like this I just don't I don't own this house so I'm not about to go like entirely put rug inside of this place even though I don't own it the final two items I purchased were graphic t-shirts guys when I saw this one I was like I'm buying that my dad would be so proud of me it's this Flintstones one I just love the color on it too I like that like vibrant color especially for summer so I did pick this one up and it was $6.99 who's the brand it's the Hanna Barbera or is it Barbara no I thought it was Hanna Barbera. I don't know. Uh, brand. <laughs> and then this next one, I don't necessarily like the color of the t shirt, but I love the graphic of the t shirt. So I picked it up because it was only $6.99. It's not like the worst color ever. It was this one right here that has this like image of um, the Looney Tune characters. And I love that it has Tweety Bird because lots of times these type of t shirts don't have Tweety Bird. They're usually like the Space Jam shirt. There's something I just noticed about this t shirt now though. It has the Looney Tunes on the front of it, but then you turn it around and they're on the back of it as well. I don't know if I necessarily like that. I mean, I still would wear this, but it's kind of like funny looking. So that's it for this shop with me slash haul. If you guys have any stores that you want me to check out, let me know down in the comments below. I get lots of requests to go to the 99 cent store or do like 99 cent store tutorials, but I live in Chicago which is in the Midwest, and we don't have the 99 cent store. I know that's mainly in California, and I think they have like some in Arizona. Don't quote me on that, but in the Midwest, there's none. I wish they would bring it here because I've seen hauls. It looks like it's really, really awesome, but I just don't have that in my area. But if you know of any stores you want me to check out that are in the Midwest, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching this haul. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. And I'm going to see you actually on Saturday with the tutorials. Come back then. Okay, bye. This is my favorite 80s song ever. Okay, bye.